The decision to adopt a sugar glider and bring a sugar glider in your home may or may not be affected by the other pets you have or your decisions to, do, to adopt or acquire other types of animals. Sugar gliders tend to do best with others of their kind. They are animals that live in groups and colonies. We always recommend having a minimum of two sugar gliders regardless of what sex they are. But when it comes to having other pets, the majority of people that have sugar gliders often do own other types of pets. In most cases, it's most important to know what the temperament or what the mentality is of your dogs and cats and other animals that may be exposed to and interact with them. One of our concerns are that there are some animals that tend to have a bit more of a hunting instinct. And some dogs and some cats may see an animal like this crawling around on an owner, or they may see an animal like this that has rapid movements in the cage, and it may stimulate them to sort of hunt or sort of or have a desire to, to go for them. One of the things we hope never happens is that sugar gliders ever get attacked or injured by other types of pets. They generally aren't considered to be a pet that would live with other types of animals. You'd never want to have your pet sugar gliders living in a cage with any animals other than sugar gliders. And you certainly want to make sure that they are in an environment with other sugar gliders that they get along with. But the decision to have other pets with them shouldn't be a factor. They are caged animals. They will spend the majority of the time that they are not with you or on you in their cage and in a proper cage with an appropriate setup, they should be very safe. So overall, having sugar gliders and other pets generally works well in most homes. It's important to know the temperament and um, know the other animals you have that may interact with them. The ability to socialize a sugar glider with other animals like dogs and cats and rabbits generally is possible as long as those animals don't show aggression, although it would be extremely unusual for a sugar glider to ever live with animals other than sugar gliders. When adopting or acquiring a new sugar glider and bringing it into your home if you already have other pets, it's really important to slowly and carefully introduce them to the environment. Some sugar gliders are very active. They tend to be um, active in their cages. They climb around, they crawl, they may crawl all over their owners. And some animals may see that as sort of a target. So the most important thing you can do in introducing a sugar glider into your home is very careful, very slow socialization. Allow your other pets to get used to the animal, leaving them in the safety of their cage and allowing pets to learn to be desensitized to the excitement of a small animal and learn to adapt to living all together.